morning students after a long interval of time i am talking to you how are you all i hope that you all are quite well okay today i am going to start a new chapter that is squares and square roots clear this chapter is too big i have divided this chapter into three four segments in the first segment i will discuss the meaning properties and some pattern of square and square number let's see how we have designed it what is the meaning of a square number when a number is multiplied by itself then the product so obtained is called square of that number say example 3 3 into 3 is 9 12 into 12 is 144 so here 9 and 144 are called the square number of square of natural number okay now what is the meaning of perfect square number so a square of a natural number are square numbers of perfect square i repeat a square of a natural numbers are square numbers of perfect square or we can explain in other way also if suppose if a number m can be expressed as uh, n square where n also is also a natural number then m is called the perfect square number example 25 25 is a natural number 25 can be expressed at 5 into 5 that is 5 square similarly 36 can be represented 6 into 6 is equal to 6 square 49 can be represented 7 into 7 equal to 7 square etc this way 25 36 49 are perfect square number okay acha now question is that one thing you have to remember here all perfect square whatever we know the perfect square number all perfect square can always be expressed as a pair of equal prime factors suppose 16 16 prime factors of 16 sir 2 into 2 2 into 2 here you see i can make them pair of equal prime numbers 2 into 2 and 2 into 2 18 18 2 into 3 into 3 3 has pair but not 2 that's why 18 is natural number only but not perfect square number have you understood so now come to the next square and square root all natural numbers are not perfect square okay all perfect square are the natural number but all natural numbers are not perfect square you see the table in this table i have shown the square of natural number from ranging from 1 to 30 okay so 1 square 1 2 square 4 this way and side by side if you uh, think what are the square number between 1 to 100 only this number 1 4 9 16 25 36 49 64 81 and 100 only 1 to 100 this is a square number similarly in uh, 100 1 to 400 these are the square number and 400 1 to 900 these are the perfect square number so this uh, table is very very important for you you must remember you note down this uh, table in your notebook also and go through it properly because when you are appearing for uh, come uh, maths olympiad or any type of competitive exam this will help you a lot okay we have to uh, explain this uh, chart in different way also now see the next number from this above chart what you have understood from, uh, regarding the square numbers from 1 to 100 we have understood like this okay numbers ending with 2 3 and 7 and 8 are not perfect square why if you see go back the table the unit digit of the square number is there any 2 3 7 8 2 3 7 8 here also we don't have okay so, but uh, now uh, next uh, table 2 3 7 8 is not there 2 3 7 not also not there okay so that means it is true number ending with 2 3 7 8 are not a perfect square number clear uh, but other than 2 3 7 8 the 1 4 5 6 9 and even number of zeros may be a perfect square number why may be why may be a perfect square so number ending with 4 that 4 and 64 okay unit digit is 4 
so it is uh, their perfect square number but so many numbers are there like 14 also ending with 4 24 and you also ending with 4 34 44 54 etc we have 4 but they are not perfect square number that's why there is a chance if a number ending with 1 4 5 6 9 then it will be a perfect square number Achha, square of even natural number are also even if we see any number even number 2 4 6 8 uh, 10 12 this way if you find out the square in, okay then it will be also a even number so even number square is even number similarly odd number square is also odd number from this chart what we have to explain so number ending with 1 and 1 kiss at 1 okay 1 and 81 okay both are ending with 1 but there are so many uh, numbers are there uh, one also there but they are not perfect square number that means number ending with 1 and uh, 1 and 9 okay the unit digit of the square will be 1 okay same way we can explain uh, next uh, this one so number if a number has 4 or 6 in their unit place then it is uh, uh, then square number n 6 okay if 2 and 8 the unit place then uh, square ends with 4 if 3 or 7 um, uh, in the unit place then square ends with 9 if 5 is there then 5 will be 5 if 1 0 is there then it will be double 0 or uh, if double 0 is there it will be uh, 4 zeros this way it will proceed okay this is very important properties of the uh, square also you have to remember this pattern so so many type of auxiliary type can be placed or mcq type of question can be uh, made uh, on this table okay you have to remember it now some interesting pattern adding triangular numbers what is that what is triangular number okay the numbers whose dot pattern whose dot patterns can be arranged as a triangle are called triangular number say numbers like 1 3 6 10 15 21 and so on it will come then general expression what are those number of triangular number general expression of the triangular number is n into n plus 1 by 2 where n is the natural number suppose n is 1 then 1 plus 1 is the 2 2 into 1 is 2 2 divided by 2 is 1 so that's why 1 is the triangular number next if n is equal to 2 then 2 plus 1 is 3 3 into 2 is 6 6 divided by 2 is 3 3 is the square uh, triangular number okay this is the general expression and i have uh, got the result also if n is equal to 6 6 plus 1 is 7 7 into 6 is 42 42 divided by 2 is 21 21 also triangular number so if i uh, show you this pattern you see 1 3 6 uh, 6 10 15 uh, these are uh, showing like triangle okay my well, question is why what is the necessity of showing this pattern in square because it shows that if we add consecutive two triangular number we will get the square of natural number that means first uh, square number is 1 triangular number is 1 and next triangular number is 3 so 1 plus 3 is 4 4 is the square of 2 clear similarly uh, second is 3 and next one is 6 6 plus 3 is 9 so 9 is the square of 3 this way we can explain um, the next number square pattern 6 plus 10 is 16 16 is the square of 4 and similarly uh, 10 and 15 these are the also triangular number after adding i'm getting 25 so 25 is the square of 25 uh, square so triangular numbers sum of the two consecutive triangular number shows the square of natural number this may name this is the property of the square number okay now next is adding odd numbers so all uh, square numbers square of natural number can be ex expressed as a sum of two uh, consecutive numbers say one one is one so next uh, uh, number one number one plus three is four is a square of two one plus three plus five nine square of three 
1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 uh, 16 16 is the square of 4 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 25 that is the square of 4 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 is equal to 36 square of 36 that means if if a natural number can't be expressed as the sum of successive odd natural numbers as a sum of successive odd natural number starting from one then it is not a perfect square number all perfect square number can be expressed as a sum of successive odd natural numbers understood next is um, non square number between the uh, consecutive square number suppose i have to find out how many non square, non square number means what 16 is a square number 25 is a square number in between 16 and 25 we have 17 18 19 20 21 22 22 and 23 24 these are called non square number non square natural number so how can we find it out the general expression is m plus n minus 1 m is the uh, first square number uh, n is the second square number how many natural non square number between them you have to find out just find out the sum and minus 1 okay so you see here why 12 square uh, 12 square and 13 square how many uh, non square number between them 12 square 12 square is 44 144 13 square is 169 144 minus 144 169 minus 144 is 25 but when we say between the two numbers that means first and last 144 1 and 169 both will will both will 144 and 169 both will not be counted that's why number of non square number between them is 24 okay next this is also one of the interesting fact uh, how can we express a square of odd natural number as a sum of two consecutive natural number? So, general expression is uh, nine, uh, n square minus 1 by 2 and n square plus 1 by 2. Suppose example 7. 7 square is 49. We can express 7 square uh, as a sum of that is for the result 49 can be expressed as a sum of two consecutive natural number. How? The what will be those two number so you can find out from this expression 7 we have to we have taken example of 7 7 square minus 1 7 square minus 1 is 24 divided by 2 is 24 7 square is 49 49 minus 1 48 48 by 2 24 and 7 square plus 1 7 square is 49 plus 150 divided by 2 is 25 so that means if we add 24 and 25 i will get the 49 so, how many, uh, how we can express um, any square number as a sum of two successive square numbers. Similarly, 9, 9 square, 9 square is what, uh, 81, 81 minus 1, 40, 40 divided by 2, uh, sorry, 80, 80 divided by 2, 40, and another will be 41, 40 plus 41 is the 81, okay. Now, some interesting facts are there. Suppose, I have to find out. Um, the product of 11 and 13 okay how can we uh, find it out we have to just find out another number between them so what is the number between 11 and 30 11 and 30 is 12 so how uh, what will be the sum uh, consecutive odd number or uh, product of two consecutive odd or even natural number 11 into 13 is 12 12 square minus 1 that is 143 12 square is 144 okay 144 minus 1 is 143 how why it is happening so see in algebra we know 12 can be written 11 can be written 12 minus 1 and 13 can be written 12 plus 1 okay so in algebra some identities are there though we have not started but have two three identities we can memorize a plus b whole square a minus b whole square and a square minus b square so when any number is expressed in terms of a plus b into a minus b that is a square minus b square so a here is 12 and b is 1 that means 12 minus 1 and 12 plus 1 
which will be equal to 12 square minus 1 that is 12 square 144 144 minus 1 is 143 clear so the product of 11 and 13 is uh, what uh, consecutive word number product of two consecutive word number will be like this 11 and uh, 13 similarly uh, 39 and 41 is a 40 square minus 1 that is this okay mm. Next, so these are the tasks I have given you for as a homework. So the, uh, all questions I have given from your textbook exercise 6.1. Those who don't have textbook till now, uh, I am sending for them a PDF file of the chapter and the other chapter also. The, the, uh, those chapters which I already covered, you must complete your work on your if you have the notebook. Uh, my fair notebook you will complete it and uh, obviously there will be assignment marks on notebook also five marks you know it very clearly okay uh, this is all about my today's uh, class uh, we will be meeting again on thursday that is uh, 30th april till then bye bye have a good day and take care of your health